Now you have a feel for the basics, it's time to explore a little and learn how to sweat. Sweating is the process of extracting sweat from the animals of Calypso. Sweat can be sold to other avatars so that it can be made into mind essence. Mind essence will be covered in a later guide. When you have located a creature, you can begin the process of sweating. As you can see, the creature can be highlighted and selected. An easy way to interact with creatures and any other item is to drag off a mini status bar or stub. Now you have the creature selected, you can start to sweat by using the sweat action. Sweating, like all mind force activities, is a two-step process. A concentration phase and an action phase. Both are achieved by using the same action. Here you can see the sweat action has been added for you by default. You won't be 100% successful at sweating, it takes many attempts to gather sweat from creatures. Here you can see we've gained two bottles of vibrant sweat. This can be seen in the inventory. The creature is attacking me because I've started the sweat process. Creatures see this as a hostile action. When in the concentration phase, if hit by a creature, this will stop the concentration and you will have to start the process again. When you've collected all the sweat a creature has to offer, a mes message will be displayed telling you you cannot acquire any further sweat from the creature. This can be clearly seen here. At these early stages, while you don't have any weapons, if a creature becomes dry, you may simply turn around and run to the nearest turret. The creature will typically follow you. Here you can see one of the turrets, but I managed to lose the creature anyway. You can repeat this process and gather as much sweat as you possibly can, and then you'll have to go into town and trade the sweat off in exchange for money. As you can see, eventually you may well die, but don't worry, you can simply go back to town by reviving. Here's the message asking you whether you want to be revived. Typically you would say yes. If you say no, even by accident, don't worry, you can press T to get the teleport command back.
now revived back in town. To seal the sweat we've just gained, we need to leave the service centre and go out into the open market. You are professional. Create a solid armour. Here we can see we're at the town. This is Port Atlantis. You can see this on your map. Most of the traders hang around the, the teleporter unit. This is for convenience. Port Atlantis is one of the busiest market areas on Calypso. Be prepared for a little bit of load time. This is the teleporter unit. You need to stand close to a teleporter unit so that it will register on your map as you won't have any registered. You can see from the chat window that many people are trying to sell items. Simply find a person who's willing to buy the sweat and strike up a deal. Selling your sweat can take quite some time. But this gives you opportunity to see the prices that go up in the chat window. This will eventually give you a good grounding as to what value things have. There are other resources you can refer to as well. These are listed on the screen now. I've identified someone who's buying sweat. He says he's by the TP. That's the teleporter. I'm going to try and strike the deal up. To go into a private trade, simply hold down the right button on the avatar in question, navigate to the interaction menu, and then select private trade. Here I'll strike up the deal with him. Place the item in the trade window. He's paying 0.72 per unit. That will work out at 7 ped 20 for a thousand units. Of course, at this point, you can barter. Sometimes it can take a little while for a trade to go through, maybe because someone's calculating the value. All right. yeah. The trader has put in the correct amount at 7 ped 20. You can see this listed up here. To accept the deal, I need to click on confirm. All right. yeah. You're then given a second chance to check through the details. If everything is okay, press accept, otherwise cancel. It's common courtesy to thank the person for the deal.
To exit the chat window, simply press escape. You are now able to move around and keep a chat window open. You'll notice that you've gone into first person mode. You can simply get out of this by scrolling your mouse wheel. You can close or minimize the chat with these buttons here. That's the first insight into making a deal with another avatar. If we check into the interf inventory now, you can see the money has gone through into our inventory. We now need to drag this onto the ped card as explained in the earlier guide. This now shows up in our account balance. Now I have to go and repeat the step, go out, sweat more animals, get more sweat and gain more money. Till eventually you have enough to buy some basic items. I've just completed another deal. This has left me with a healthy bank balance. I can now buy equipment to go hunting with. To do this I need to find a trade terminal. Trade terminals can be found in a number of places, including shop containers like this. Here is the trade terminal. To access the trade terminal you can simply double click on it or click once with the right mouse button. This is the trade window interface. In here you can see that all the items you can purchase are categorised. Armour parts, melee weapons, ranged weapons, ammunition, tools and real world items. We're going to buy a rifle. This can be found in the ranged weapon section. To purchase the item we need to drag it into the purchase item box. A rifle will need ammunition but first you need to find out what type of ammunition it requires. To do this, simply right click on the weapon. This will bring up the information window. Ensure you're selected on the show detailed information page. Clearly you can see here that the ammo type is medium weapon cell. Let's find that in the ammo section. said weapon cell so we need to look in the cell pack section rather than the BLP packs. Scrolling down we can see the medium weapon cell packs. I have 60 ped, I'm going to spend 30 on ammo. I also need to buy a first aid pack. This will prevent me from dying in the field, at least too often. This can be found under the tools section and then in medical. Again, simply drag the item into the purchase item box. The total cost is 48 ped and 80 peck. To pay for these items I simply grab my ped card and drag it into the payment box. I'm told how much money I will have left over. To confirm the purchase click on accept and then confirm. And now you're done. You're now ready to go out and hunt.